Hey everyone, Adam here again. Uh, I want to do a third part of my uh, Pentium 233 MHz Windows 98 machine. Uh, this is one of the games that I used to play a lot. Of course, this is out in like an HD remake version now on uh, Steam. You can play it on modern machines, but this is the original version. I used to play this a lot. Uh, I want to see how well it actually runs. No, I do not want to do that. Uh, we're going to take a look at a few games that I used to play back in the day. See what this machine with its modest... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to register, that's fine, thank you. Uh, what it can do with its modest hardware that it has, it just has a, a Banshee card and Pentium 1, 233 MHz MMX processor. Uh, I played Pharaoh, so I should put that one on. We'll, we'll take a look. Pharaoh is an amazing game, I have not played that. I wonder if that's even available on modern systems. I would love to play Pharaoh. Oh boy, that is some frame rate there. I don't recall the frame rate sucking so badly. Uh, options. Sure, that's fine. Video is probably what we're most concerned about here. Let's 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 leave it at eight by six hundred, and we do not want to do software. Let's try OpenGL because that was kind of the thing back in the day. Let's see what we got going. Attention. Why has it failed? Well, we'll try direct, TV, direct 3D then. Screw you, man. Oh. Uh, mode switch successful. No, I do not want to. Well, yes, I do want to keep this. Well, oh, my mouse. My mouse is. Okay. Is it good? I think it's good. Training. My mouse goes unresponsive every so often here. It's a little concerning. See it, this bad boy. This is on my original disc. I have the Cataclysm one around here somewhere. Part of the reason I wanted to build a vintage machine was to get Cataclysm running, right? Because I've never been able to get it to work right on my modern machine. Um, I actually did get it working on my slightly less modern Windows 10 machine finally. Welcome to the Homeworld training mission. Yay! Here we will teach you all the basic controls needed to play Homeworld. Let's begin. Left click on the next button to proceed. Yeah, I, I got gotcha. you. Rotate the camera. Well, anyway, to that to works. Lesson, Let's see what else we can get working. The camera 180 degrees around your mothership. I wonder if this will install correctly. This is a game I loved for a very long time. I've not played this game since probably like 2001 or something like that. I have my old binder of ancient games out here. The CD is trying to access. This disc is not in the best shape. Unfortunately, my Pod Racer disc is cracked. I don't even know how that happened. I'm very sad about that. I wanted to try to get Pod Racer going, but the CD is no good. Is this one? This one is having some issues. Aww. Sim Theme Park. I used to play this game quite a lot, but. I believe I played it on the next iteration of this machine. I don't think it's going to play particularly well on this. We're going to go into instant action, man. If it's going to even... Oh, oh. I like the Halloween one. Where's my Halloween one? You bastards. Fine. Play with the stupid dinosaurs. Yeah, this is going to be terrible. I had definitely upgraded that. I don't remember what machine I played this on, but uh, it was, well, maybe, you know, you never know. Memory is a funny thing, but it seems like it ran a lot smoother than this. It was probably once I had gotten a newer video card or something like that. But I don't even know if this game is available. I have a uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon as well. I don't even know if this game is available anywhere anymore. I think they might be maybe making another one, or they did. I don't know. I should probably actually look into it. This was back when The Sims were first really big, and so there, there's a lot of. Now, uh, I should be about. Yeah, the frame rate on this is pretty spectacular. Of course. As long as they don't move anything, it's kind of okay. Enter a land of prehistoric mystery, where reptilian giants roam the land, where you season the primordial soup. 
Why are Aztecs Texan? And... That doesn't even make sense. The theme park that time forgot. All right, boom. Just to get you started, I built a small park, nothing fancy, and I hired some staff to run it. It could use some fixing up, but hey, it's a start. You are really annoying, whatever you are, guy. Right. See the control panel over there at the bottom left part of the screen? The buttons on it do a bunch of different things. Click them, and I'll tell you more. Tell that me meter more, on please. the left side of the panel shows how happy the visitors are. If there are any visitors, that is. Roller Coaster Tycoon is definitely a better game than this one. Um, this one, I kind of like the themes of the little theme parks more, but, uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon is definitely superior. And I know that Roller Coaster Tycoon is available, because I have that on Steam. It's like six bucks. You should definitely buy that. It's pretty awesome. I have my original Age of Empires disc here, designed for Windows 95. Let's see if this disc still will run. Kind of amazing I have as many of these as I do. Of course, there's no point in really having Age of Empires anymore because they've made an HD version of this as well, so... Uh, yes. Do it. I agree. Yes, why Why would you even ask? Uh, it's full. I got the disk space. I don't care. I have the expansion for this too, like what was Rise of Rome over here. The Rise of Rome. But uh I think I'll probably just install the original, see see how it goes. That's actually installing relatively quickly. It's only two hundred megabytes of stuff, so when you think about that it's horrific, but I haven't seen this in a long time either. Registration was a big thing back then. No, thank you. Let's see if we can get this bad boy to launch. I didn't even ask for a, a CD key. Oh. oh, Ensemble Studios. I remember that. Microsoft Ensemble Studios or whatever. Oh, those was the days. played this game an awful lot with one of my buddies with this in Age of Empires 2. I've not seen this introduction in a good bit. <laughs> wow, that is some very low resolution video. Well, we get the idea. Let's see what the game yeah, multiplayer played that. Land party, uh, find campaign. Uh, ancient Egypt, that sounds great. Hunting, moderate. Yeah, we don't really need the introduction, that's alright. Whatever. Worker guy, you will kill that thing. This is so weird. Not enough food. Go get him. Oh, you are not in much of a hurry, dude. Yeah. This game is amazing. I should actually probably get the HD version. I forgot how amazing this game is. It's pretty gross cutting up that deer, though. It was like that there's really nothing that makes this Egyptian, I guess, aside from this, like, our little town center is crappy. Look at all that meat. It's very creepy the way that you just make people, too. Oh, he only carried 40. What a bastard. Look at that tiny map. Well. You get the idea. 
this was a pretty crappy game that I played a lot because I was really excited about the Phantom Menace, but you know, I don't know how that worked out. Analyze my computer. What does this have to say? Past or good? What's this? The Phantom Menace? Yeah, whatever. Boom! Let's do this thing. Oh, look at that. Look at that, whatever the hell that thing is. I don't know my Star Wars stuff well enough to know what that is, but... Complete installation, 335 megabytes. Like I said, I got the space. What do I care? Get the maximal performance. Oh, that's... Is it, it doesn't give me, like, an overall progress thing? It's just, like, this file, or... Because that seemed really quick to be copying 300 megabytes. That seems more like it, now that it's not doing anything. It's thinking. I have the CD lights going. It's, it's trying. Oh. CD drive's making more noise. It's amazing how many of these discs actually still work. Like, I guess they haven't been touched in a bajillion years. I don't even remember. What, what is Star Wars Battle... For Naboo, like this is all my ancient stuff, so some of this is probably too new to run on this particular machine. I don't remember. I don't remember this game, but it's from 2001, so that will probably be something we'll look at when we get to like a Pentium two or three build, because that sounds too too epic. I have Star Wars Force Commander here. That's definitely too epic. Black and white. Which is probably too new. Some good stuff here. Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine. Star Wars Starfighter. Zoo Tycoon. Railroad Tycoon 3. I love Railroad Tycoon. Uh, yeah, that's all fine. Whatever. Sure. Don't care. I like Darth Maul. No, I do not want a shortcut on my desk. No, I do not want to read anything. A joystick? Why would you want to play with a joystick? That would be like the worst possible experience. No, I do not want to read right? Let's see this thing work. I didn't do hardware configuration! No! Wow. Okay. We did not do the hardware configuration. Lord only knows what's going to happen here. Disney is probably going to get mad because I'm sure there's going to be a Star Wars introduction. Yeah, let's skip that. It's trouble. I have a bad feeling about this. Your feelings serve you well, Obi-Wan. Don't let them cloud your judgment. What is your plan, Qui-Gon? When the Trade Federation Viceroy arrives, we must convince him to leave the system. Will they agree to leave? The Viceroys are cowards. This meeting will be short. Still, be prepared for the unexpected. I'll be mindful, Qui-Gon. Don't you worry. Welcome. I am How do I run? I want to run. Wazda. Wazda has failed me. Arrow keys? Really? Shit makes me kind of like run. I, I, room is filling with poison gas. I, yeah, yeah. I, I don't say we're not running at like full capability here. It appears as if the Trade Federation is preparing to attack them. How do I jump? I feel like I should be able to jump. I don't know that I can jump. Um, enter? That, that's a button, clearly. No idea. If we can breach the hangar bay, they find a way to escape. Ooh, health. Well, that that's about the long and the short of this game. <laughs> There's not much to it. I played it a lot though. I was a kid, what can I say? Wait for options. Performance options. Water, yeah, we don't, we don't get a, we got a medium computer. Well, that's a good noise. Quit! You son of a, thank you. 
Um, I'm just curious what it even has for configuration. Analyze. We already did this, I think. Oh, we get the full DirectX diagnostic tool out of this one. Oh, we might as well look at some of this stuff. Test Direct Draw. Fine. Ah! Well. Yes, I, I definitely... No, I do not care. Well, that's good times. Video options. I thought we already... I was just... Using DirectX. How do... Reinstall DirectX, whatever. Fine. Ah! I have better, you stupid thing. Well, whatever. What else do we have here that we can mess with? I did install this. I have a feeling this machine is... I'm going to take that CD out because it's loud. I feeling this machine is not going to perform very well in 3D Mark. It is essentially not even, I mean, it's at, like, the very early days of 3D. My project, I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Uh, demo mode? Sure. All of these 3D Mark things are available, actually, for free nowadays is it is it actually going to attempt to do anything here that just seems like I mean that seems okay seems like a pre-rendered thing if I had to guess pretty That is definitely pre-rendered. Like, what are we, what are we doing here, at 3D Mark? Yeah, this is a pre-rendered introduction. Ninety-nine max. Uh, you gonna do something? Or should I press escape? Escape. Uh, no. There is no escape. Oh god, something happened. Yeah, demo aborted. Benchmark this thing. See the astounding performance of this very generic, well not generic, but a very low end machine that really is better off running Windows 95. Eh, it's kind of doing that. It's downing 10 frames. It's not, not bad. How many tests does it run? It's not telling me test out of whatever. I thought it usually had like test one out of 10 or whatever. Processing. Oh, that's pretty good. It's got limited 3D capability. I probably used to play a lot of games at this kind of frame rate. I was a kid. I did not have a lot of choice, so... <laughs> oh, well, it picked up there at the end. For a second. Did it freeze? I think it may have frozen. Nope. It's a 2 out of 15 test, so I'm just going to let this run and see what happens. 
All right, so we got our results here. 973 3D marks, 1,499 CPU 3D marks, which who knows what that means. Um, what? Why? I don't want to, I just want to see how this compares to other things. You're not, you're not going to tell me, are you? Well, Lord only knows what that means. So, result browser. What is this? Aha! Um... Yeah, apparently... It's not... What, what can we do for a heart? Aw, oh, really? I don't want to join your mailing list. Just connect. The service is not yet available. They're working on it still. Um, sure. No. Well, that was something, wasn't it? Result browser. No, that's just this again. Well, I suppose that's probably going to pretty much be the end of this this project in this video. Oh, what is this? Sign in. I'm not gonna sign in. Does this website even work? Still 3D bar error. There's errors. Um, yeah, I'm not giving my Facebook or Steam information over a ancient version of Internet Explorer. That's all right. No. So, uh, yeah, that, that pretty much concludes, I think, what we can do with this machine. Uh, it's it's not capable of doing all that much, really. Like, it's more of a nostalgia project. There's a few games I will probably play once in a while on this and stuff. But, uh, really, to get into more advanced gaming, we probably want to do a Pentium 2 or even a Pentium 3 system with a little bit better of uh, video cards. And I am going to be doing both of those just for fun sake. I, I like messing around with this old-fashioned hardware. It's kind of fun for me. So anyway, I want to thank you for watching this and I will catch you next time.